we've got a couple, three, four, I'm not sure who's all here, but I will let them introduce themselves and their comments. Um, go ahead. Uh, my name is Quentin Swanger. Um, we have officially formulated a board. Um, president, elected president of the board um, is Karen Dickens. And we are secretary. Secretary. So um, that's where we're at right now. Our biggest <coughs> thing right now we're dealing with is the lease agreement. Hopefully you all have that. Um, the front part of it is basically just a, a standard uh, business lease. The last page does have a laundry list of agreements and such that we've, uh, that I think Ann has worked with, you guys worked on previously. Um, so definitely read through that. Our issue right now is that on the front page, uh, number two here, um, we have, when we have Colin draw this up for us, uh, we have $200 a month. And after that, it has dates from when to when. And obviously, we don't know when we're going to be using the building. So, and we were unable to get a hold of Colin to, to write up some sort of stipulation where uh, we would like to propose that we don't uh, actually use the, we don't have to pay rent until we actually use the building. So if we could put dates in there, August 1 of 08 to August 1 of 09, but not actually have to pay rent until we so have that. So it was November before you used it. Then right. you wouldn't pay rent until November. Correct. Right, exactly. Okay. And we were unable to get him to draw something up officially for that, but since you guys had a meeting, we definitely wanted to get in front of you and let you know that we're still chugging away and, and trying to get this done. So. And the other thing is, obviously, we're not going to go 100% fundraising until we have the contract finalized. So we can have some real stuff for people to put their money behind and to invest in. So as far as changes and or approval, obviously that can't be done without deciding on that date's, on the date's issue. Well, I don't have a problem with that as long as Colin doesn't have a problem. I mean, he can see something that is an issue. I'm not for it. But other than that, I understand. If you don't use it until November, it starts in August. I don't know. I wouldn't expect you to pay it. But if Colin says there's a reason for it, then I have to let's go that. Sure. <clears throat> I guess my question are you asking only for a one year uh, agreement? I mean, you're going to set up the auditorium, you're going to buy a bunch of stuff, and... We're probably just going year to year at this point. I mean, we'll probably be there longer than we are. Right. Well, but the, tonight, you're only asking that we approve yeah. for the first year. I mean, you know, we don't want to right. say five years, and then if we have money to go on our own in three, well, then, you, you know, but yeah. I guess we'll probably go year to year. I'm assuming somewhere in here, as long as you gave us notice of... 30 or 60 days, you can move out, yeah, right, somewhere in there. <laughs> On the top of the, the third, I guess I call it the third page, it says a bunch of defaults, primarily for defaults. And I think that um, each of the following shall constitute of default by the tenant, failure to pay rent, failure to observe or perform any of the duties. Um, and then down below under B, landlord shall give tenant a written notice specifying the default and give the tenant 10 days in which to correct it. Um, oh, where did I see it? I just know. I guess it's really not going to cost us anything when you decide it's time to move out and move downtown or whatever. So. You know, I don't see where that would be a big issue myself. You know, that's, I think that would, that's probably the sooner you can get out of our auditorium into something permanent would be an advantage to the community anyway. So right. that's right. Yeah. Is the, uh, the $200, is that acceptable or? Yeah, that's in my right. assumption. Excuse me, uh, may I speak? I'm uh, Rosemary Richardson, and I'm just interested in this theater. Uh, if we want to have programs here, 
for the school, will that interfere with the auditorium? I mean, using the, you will not. Well, we had talked earlier that they would get a schedule from us uh, when we had things scheduled, when we had practices scheduled, and they would avoid uh, using it when we, we have first choice. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay thank you. The that was one of the first things we talked about, but that's a good point mm -hmm. that, that people should be concerned about is mm -hmm. that it didn't interfere with anything related to school. Do you have... Uh, and you might, I think you mentioned it. Do you have any idea when you ideally you'd like to, if, if this is approved, first show? If everything fell into place, I mean, you got a time frame when you'd like to, to utilize it first? We're tentatively thinking September. And it, a lot, all of it depends on fundraising, how fast we can, we can get the money for the equipment. Um, one of the things we talked about at our last meeting was with the Sac City movie. Um, I don't know, the Fine Art Council. Um, they, they're they coordinating the whole Sac City movie. Well, one of the fundraisers we can do in kickoff is to show that Sac City movie at the theater once the equipment's installed. Um, and they, they won't agree with that, Steve said. So I think in September, but again, it all depends on the fundraising. Sure. Okay. I actually don't see anything in here about, and I thought I had the first time I looked at it, I don't see anything about giving notice or um, ending the agreement. But well, definitely, I would think that would be something pretty simple to add if we needed to. It talks more about the fact that the, the um, agreement will be in the fall if you do certain things or we do yeah. certain things, but it really does not talk about who who gives each other about giving notice to each other. Do you want 30 days notice or 60 days? I don't think I, we I have don't much. think it has much of an impact on us. Place, don't yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But you're right, it would have an impact on us if yeah. something did yeah. come up. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, well. That would be more for you than it would right. be on. We'll uh, talk about that Wednesday. We have a right. meeting Wednesday evening. We'll talk about that and have Colin add that to both sides to have that notice. I guess from the board's perspective, though, uh, for your benefit, uh, the board members uh, are in favor of this agreement. I know I am. I mean, I I guess we can't pass it tonight without that language. Is that correct? I think we should have that. The absolute language is okay. what I recommend to you. But I think you can let them, you know, you can give them an indication that it's a blackout other than just one or two things on here. I guess for their sake, I think they could assume they can go ahead and get started yeah. on anything they need to do, and it would just be more formality on our part passing the formal and final okay. with that language. Dave Is that safe to Grant, say? are you two okay with that? Are you not fine? Mm -hmm. Fine. Okay. I think it's a good thing. So. Can you bring us sure. something at the July board meeting? Yep, sure can. Okay. Do you have a date on that? We're going to set a date later. Oh, you and we'll, later. Yeah, you, if you don't say for the whole meeting, you can call and find out. Okay. We'll do. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>